Papa Smurf, guess what? Oh, oh, he almost got it. I'll keep reaching for it. Welcome back to Talking Serpents. I'm sure you've seen from the thumbnail, you know what this video is going to be about. So, yesterday, me and my wife picked up our dream dog, which is a Siberian Husky. Got blue eyes and really well mannered. This is actually the first interaction between the dog and the snake. Dog doesn't seem to mind. Snake obviously usually doesn't seem to care. We haven't uh, actually named this dog yet. I'm trying to think of something clever. That's we got a few names floating around. We'll see what we're actually going to decide on. Clips is getting some good size on her. She's definitely been uh, very food motivated lately. Looking healthy. Very dull color right now. What are you doing? Okay, he's gonna go lay down. I gave it like one minute, two minutes tops, and he's going to be moving again. Guaranteed. Alright, Eclipse, you, uh, you watch over and make sure he's okay, not getting into anything, because you know he will. Yell Anaconda, she looks like she's really dull. So she's probably gonna go in the shed really soon. Oh, no, nope, he's already done. Right now, I got the notorious puppy hiccups. <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. Got such beautiful blue eyes. <sighs> he's been a good dog. Less than 24 hours in, though. He's been great. Are you gonna be friends with the dog? Any tongue flicker for you? You're not? That's messed up. We should be friends. So this is a story that I've never told. So about two years ago, me and my wife, we really wanted a dog. My wife decided she wanted um, a male blue nose pit bull. And we we're driving back, puppy fell asleep on my lap, then woke up, and then we were kind of in a canyon, and it threw up on my lap. Well, obviously I went home, took a shower, and then I had like hives, like on my lap, like where he had thrown up on my leg. And I was like, okay, that's really weird and then the next day I had like anywhere he would he would lick me scratch me brush up against me with his his hair because that's where all the dog dander comes from would give me hives like I'm talking bad hives I've never had issues with that so I just couldn't understand uh, what was going on I did a bunch of research figuring out if I could just like wash the dog or something maybe something was on the dog yeah, by the second day, I had to take Benadryl every day. My skin would get like really swollen and puffy. Yeah, it just kept getting worse. Like certain sections of the rash would get better and then the dog would like brush up against me. So day three rolled around and I woke up um, like an hour before or two hours before I had to go to work and my eyes just felt like really thick. My wife was actually in the next room sleeping with the dog because I couldn't even be in the same room with this dog. I couldn't even like contaminate the bedroom. I walked into the next room and I looked at my wife and I was like, is there something wrong with my face? And I could barely look out of my eyes. But I'm assuming maybe the dog had like gotten its dander on my pillow and I slept on it, but my eyes were so swollen. I could hardly see out of them. Like my eyes were all puffy. Insert the picture here, because I've saved it and almost next to nobody, only my family has seen this picture. I look like Frankenstein. 
I had to skip like half a day or more of that day on work. I couldn't even make it into work because my eyes were so swollen. So I told my wife, well, we're gonna have to get rid of the dog. And luckily my wife was working at a Petco and she was able to find a home for the dog who already was another dog lover, had other pit bulls. Everything ended up, um, it worked out. I'm, I'm saying it worked out for the dog. It did not work out for me and my wife. We were definitely uh, very distraught for quite a long time. And then uh, I ended up hanging out with one of my friend's pit bulls. Like my brother-in-law has a pit bull, like an adult pit bull. I've never had any issues. Other friends had pit bulls, no issues. And then one of my good buddies at work, he had a half pit bull, half um, black lab puppy. And it was, I think like uh, eight or nine weeks, as old as he is. And while I was like welding and doing other work, he was literally, uh, this, his leash was attached to my chair and I was working and he was just on my lap licking me and like he would just kind of play a little bit on my hand. I didn't have any reaction. Two weeks ago, we went and we were looking online for good dog breeders. I was like, well, let's see if we can like go hang out with some puppies. And two weeks ago, I hung out with eight puppies. I let the dogs lick me, brush up against my face, skin, everything. And uh, I left, the only thing I did when I came home was I just washed just my hands, everything else had been licked and dog dander and fur all over everything I was wearing, even my face. I didn't wash my face until the end of the night and I didn't have a reaction. I haven't even had a reaction from him, no hives, not a single sneeze in over 24 hours, no, nothing, absolutely nothing. It's been perfect. So I am beyond stoked because Husky is my favorite dog breed ever since I was a little kid. I've always wanted a black and white Husky. I didn't really ever think that I'd even be able to get a white Husky, so I'm even more stoked. Also, the whole time I've been talking, my yellow anaconda has been uh, creeping underneath this blanket. Let's go see where she's at. Oh, hi. What's she doing under here? You got your new hide? Oh, put the blanket back on. This is my new hide. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, here's a good one. We only had that blue nose pit bull for three days, and we didn't really name it until the last day and my wife came up with the best name. She named the dog Kryptonite. If you know what Kryptonite is, it's the only uh, substance that repels uh, Superman, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. So I was just this dog, this dot dog was my Kryptonite. That's, uh, that's the story I've held back for I guess a couple, oh yeah, saved your life. Do you see that? I just saved your life. So yeah, I've been kind of holding that one in and uh, now I'm just over here living the dream with a new husky puppy. So this one certainly goes to show, never give up. <laughs> this is weird because I don't even know exactly what happened. It has to have something to do with genetics with that pit bull. Like if you know more about dogs and possibly what this dander situation may have been then, what do you think it was? Like I think it has something to do with genetics. That's the only thing I could think of. Oh, I guess there's a wake. Come on, let's go outside. Come on. Let's go outside. Let's go. What do you want about you? Oh yeah, we probably should get some toys so you can play with your dang toys. Well, oh, come on. Let's get some toys. Which ones do you want to bring? Okay. And we'll get this one. Okay. Finally get to see your beautiful little eyes. Go get it. You lazy bum. Sharp. Yeah, sharp. Shoe. Yeah, shoe. Oh, I guarantee he's gonna come in here for some water. Yeah, that way you're able to make more pee. 
There we go. Are you gonna be a lawnmower again and eat the grass? Oh. Maybe we'll name you Betsy because you're eating grass. Are you a cow or a dog? My toy. I'm out of here. My. Come on. I'm not gonna help you. There you go. Only one way to learn. Alright, you wanna go to the reptile room for the first time? Come on! Come on. Yeah. Bunch of snakes in here. What's up, Papa Smurf? Gecko's hanging out on the glass. Oh, false water cobra hanging out the front. I'm sure I'll be able to slowly introduce and acclimate uh, the doggy to all the snakes and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully everything goes well. If not, I'll just have to keep them separate. Whatever I gotta do for the safety. All right, if you liked the video, strike that like button. If you have any comments, post in the comment section below. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you next time.